Hey guys, um, me here. I'm sorry I don't, if I don't, bleh, sorry I don't sound like very upbeat and peppy, whatever. But it's because I'm really not. I'm really tired. Um, yeah, because I went, I got home. I was at the barn for like four hours today because I had to help with beginner lessons. Um, but I just wanted to show you new briars that I got. Well, two, two of them I got last week. Um, one I just got today in the mail because I ordered it Friday and it just came today. And one of them's technically not new, new, but I etched him, so it's kind of new. So, yeah, we'll start off with the ones I got last week. I have to use my book as a platform for a couple of these guys because they don't stand very well on carpet. Um, I got the Hanoverian, um, stallion and foal set. And I named the foal Ebony. She's really, really, really cute. I love her so much. She's so adorable. I just figured I'll name her Ebony. So that's her. She has no flaws on her. She's LSQ, even though I don't show, but I just like that anyway. Who doesn't? Oh, she's got a little brown mark there. That's nice. So I, I guess I spoke too soon. And this is her daddy. I named him Jareth. Not Jared, Jareth. I named Jareth after my favorite character, well, one of my favorite characters from this movie that I love. It came out in, like, 1986, and I have it on DVD. It's called Labyrinth. Um, it's a Jim Henson film, and David Bowie's in it, and he plays Jareth, the Gotwin King. And I think I wanted to think of something, you know, somewhat royal, like, that royalty, I guess. But, yeah, here he is, and he can, he can only stand on, like, flat surfaces. He can't stand on carpeting, see, no fall over. He, however, has done some marks on him. He's got a box rub right there. Oops, you just can't see it. That's like right by his tail. He's got a box rub right there. And he's got an ear rub right there. But I did, I got these guys for these two. They're obviously set for $20 at um, Toys R Us because my mom took me and my nephew because he wanted to get a toy. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll come with because I saw these set before and I didn't realize how cheap they were. But yeah, I'm really glad I got them. I've been wanting this set for a very, very, very long time. So yeah, there's, there's Ebony and Jareth, her daddy. Now moving on to the one I etched. He is on the um, racehorse mold. He was Goliath's boy, but I already had one. It's all the way up there, you just can't, he's behind, um, uh, War Admiral, you can't see him, you can kind of see him, you can see the jockey, he's all the way up there, um, but I had two of them, because I, I originally bought two for, like, for that platform, like I just showed you, and one set for, um, for fun, because I used that set for, that, set on the platform for a project, but anywho, here he is. He is very pretty. He took me a long time to do, and I'm not even kidding, like two hours maybe, and I'm not even lying to you. That's pretty much how long he took me, because I started him earlier. Um, I did him the other day. I started him late afternoon, and I took a break, but I was working on it for like an hour, and then, um, I started him again that night, and it took me another hour to finish, but he's got a blaze, and he's got four white socks, even though they're not very good, and he's got two markings there, oops, and three there, so yeah, and I named him Dastan, and he's got a blaze, um, I named him Dastan after, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's character, um, Prince Dastan from Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, oh, he just fell over. Yeah, I name a lot, so I'm going to start naming my horses, I think, after movie characters, because I've run out of names. Ah, stand up. Yep, that's him. He's very, very, he turned out pretty good, I think. And no, he is not for sale. I will never sell any of my customs unless I'm in dire need of money, which I am not right now, so. Yeah, and now on to the horse I got today in the mail. He, <clears throat> I've been wanting this horse for a very, very, very long time. Like, ooh, I don't know what that is. It's just fuzzy. Um, I've been wanting him for a long time, like a little over a year and a half. Um, 
He was at Briarfest, I think, two years ago, maybe. I don't remember. But I was trying to find him last Briarfest, but I couldn't. And I only knew that they had, like, three of them at the Holiday Inn sales, but I didn't go to those because we weren't near the Holiday Inn. But I got him on Friday off of eBay for $54, which is ironically what he's originally worth, according to my Briar book. Worth $54, and I got him off of eBay, new in box. Um, so yeah, here I ordered him Friday, and he um was shipped on Saturday, and he came today, so he came pretty fast. And here he is, it's Joker. Oh my god, I'm in love with him. I was so excited when I opened him because I was like so happy because I, I love him, I love his color. His color is just gorgeous and his tail's really pretty I like how it goes like from the black to the white to the black he's just super pretty I'm keeping his name as Joker because if they're given names I like to keep them except for him because he wasn't he was on the Goliath boy but he's not um so yeah this is Joker I'm surprised it doesn't say like Briarfest or anything on his belly but he wasn't really a special run but I'm so happy I found him. And he's in mint condition, I think. Well, he's got like a little tiny, tiny, tiny black mark. Oh, you can't even see it. It's gone. It's like right there, but you can't even see it. Yeah, he's so gorgeous. I love him. So, yeah. And he's on my fa one of my favorite molds, the Smart Chicolina mold. He's my third in this mold. I have him, which is Joker. Um, Big Chucks to Cash and Smart Chicolina. I'm kind of, I guess, have a conga going, I guess you could say, of them. I have a lot of congas going, but I don't really feel like explaining them right now because I'm really tired. But yeah, he's got a gorgeous face and I love his markings. They're nice and crisp too, which is really, really, really nice. I love him so much. So, yeah, oh, and I also, um, I rode Dandy bareback. Uh, yesterday? Yeah, it's yesterday, but I didn't get it on video because I didn't bring my camera because I didn't feel like bringing it because I didn't, because one, I didn't know anybody was going to, if anybody was going to be there, and two, I didn't want to because I wanted to just focus on me and him, and he actually did really well. Um, I was a little scared, you know, a little nervous because I haven't ridden in bareback, like bare, any horse bareback in months. Uh, so yeah, and he's really, really good. I just did walk trot, um. He was very good for that. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so if you guys want to con leave comments, rate, subscribe, whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Also, thank you guys for 200 plus subscribers. I think I have like 220 something. I don't remember. But I'm sorry I haven't made a video of it. I have like no like recent clips of me. But I will get some on Wednesday, so... Um, so yeah, I will not take any more of your time, so thanks for watching, guys. Bye!